One of the more interesting experiences that you can have as an actor is to go to a movie or watch a TV show that you actually audition for and watch the actor who got the role and check them out and see what they did with it. Actors have very funny reactions to this and, and one of the prevailing reactions is, is they say, well, why did they hire him and not me? That's exactly what I did. But see, there's a larger question there. And the larger question is, is that all you did? Because I guarantee you that the actor who got the role did more than what you're seeing them do up on the screen when they audition for it. And that's the actor's job, you know, to go in the room and offer um, strong, creative, connected choices to expand the possibilities of the role, to show that you have range, that, that you can give the director options and choices, so should they take the role this way or that way or the other way, you're the actor who can handle it, right? And that's opposed to what a lot of actors do when they audition. They read the sides and they say, oh, well, that's a bad guy, so I'll do this, or it's the cop, so I'll do this, or it's the nurse, so I'll do this. And all they wind up bringing into the room is their perception of the role. And your perception of the role is only one possibility. So what's going to happen is the people auditioning you are going to see you as limited. So here's what you want to do. You want to watch these working actors. And you want to watch them through the filter of knowing that if all they did in their audition is what you're seeing up on the screen, they wouldn't have booked that job. It's true. You have to actually do more to get the job then you'll probably be asked to do once you have it. And that's really important for you to know. But if you do, you can prepare accordingly, and maybe the next time that working actor is you.